Hi YouTubers and thank you for tuning into the Dice of Our Toy Review. Today it's going to be another one of those brief Penguin Clubboard Toy Reviews again in the computer room. And strangely enough it is summer, obviously, but I don't think it's that warm or hot compared to what I would probably think of, you know, two days ago. But hi, let me just go ahead and grab the webcam and I'm going to show you uh, some Penguin Clubboard toys. Yes, overall. Um, yes, we've got some Penguin Club World toys. We've got four products to review today. Uh, obviously, I don't know how long I'll be doing my views on YouTube. Okay, um, the first one we'll take a look at is this is Flat Origami Penguin Club World. Um, what's the one called? It's called the Electric Fuse Box Short Circuit Repair and Electrician Penguin Trio 12 Pack. It costs about £11. As you can see, I've actually drawn a penguin and a drill. Looks like it's draining towards its beak. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Looks like it's very deadly seeing that. Oh, I would hate to probably stick a drill up and speak. That would be cruel, wouldn't it? Eh? 11 pounds. There you go, that's the price. And there is the back of the packaging. It's quite funny that the artwork is actually quite simplistic. I would have added the mix and matching part onto the product though. It would have been better off just to add the mix and matching info. I might do that after making this video. But what I might do first is I'll just go ahead and unpack it. And as funny as this sounds, this product is actually kind of like a downsized version of the air uh product I did back then, uh, two days ago, which was probably hot. I'm not, I'm not sure if there's any more items here, but I think that's pretty much about it. Okay, so the tools that we have is a bloody screwdriver, which looks pretty much red, with an end that looks like a real screwdriver. A spanner or a wrench? Obviously I think wrench is more Americanized. If you were saying spanner, then that's probably British or maybe Commonwealth if you call it that, eh? And we've got a bloody drill as well, which says the waddle. <laughs> is that like us in Penguin Club World or Club Penguin going to shut down at any moment or now, I believe? Or maybe not. And we've also got this piece here, which is meant to be some kind of plate that resembles... Oh yes, is that like one of the PSA missions? Is that like some kind of internal circuit board? I think it's meant to be the internal electrical circuit board of a fuse box um, which actually has two sides of different artwork. So you have this side here but if you turn it over on the other side that's a very different piece of artwork. That's the other side of it and it looks quite different. It has nine green circles whereas this one here has got like green circles. There's only three of them. There's only about six red circles. It's like some kind of decoding thing and of course yes I'll show you what the box looks like over which just a generic looking box but if I show you the other one it's a fuse box and I believe it's some kind of electrical fuse box and I can tell what other guys say hopefully this box won't blow a fuse haha -ha, no pun intended or maybe it's not a pun because that's what the word fuse is pretty much what it means there you go that's some very nice artwork going on here looking like some kind of freaking fuse box Okay, and we've also got the penguins here as well. So yes, we've got a blue penguin. I'm just going to be pretty much ma mix and matching. Well, I don't know. Maybe I should try and match the colours to what colour the penguins are. There's a blue hard hat here. Obviously, they're pretty much designed in the same way. Obviously, right? Not too bad, hey? Not too bad, huh? In a way, they're actually produced. Okay, let's grab the other one here as well. It's a nice looking design, and hey, it looks totally utterly awesome. Very nice in the way they've been designed. They get a nice yellowish looking penguin. I'll put it on just like so. Oh yeah, that's pretty nice. All right, that looks fairly, fairly awesome, which is chronically nice. And I'll grab this beautiful red penguin, and of course, yes, I'll attach it to the hard hat. Of course, there you go. It's a nice red one, of course. Pretty much vibrantly red. Oh yes, looking pretty cool indeed to me. And as funny as it sounds, if I have a look at this yellow penguin, there's actually a bit of a very strange mishap going on on the beak. There's actually a bit of red splotching mixed with a bit of orange, which doesn't seem too accurate. It looks like it's looks like its beak is bleeding. Oh, that would be raunchy, eh? Oh, I would hate to think about that. It looks like it's got blood. It looks like it's covered in a bit of blood on its beak. Yes, a penguin with a bloody beak. How about that one, hey? Maybe it could be the best present for Christmas 2022. I don't know, but maybe let's just move on to the next product. Of course, yes, we'll be swapping generations from 127 to 128. Um, that would obviously mean it will be like the summer holidays are coming closer, of course. 
And yes, I do know that the Summer Hollows are coming close, but yes, that doesn't mean that Penguin Club World is about to continue. Uh, I would presume we'll have some kind of freaking hiatus. Next up is uh, another one of those Flip Flop Origami Penguin Club World uh, Leisure Swimming uh, Summer Vibing um, sets, but this one's a 12 pack. It's called the Penguin Resort 12 pack. Uh, it costs about four pounds nine nine or thirteen pounds, which is pretty much um, the most expensive product. As I'm making this video here, there's the back of the packaging. There, oh boy, look at those penguins! They're pretty much off for a bit of a nice, cool, and paddle. Why would you even bring a boombox? It would actually electrocute. You know, it would probably electrocute itself. And then why? Why would you bring a a boombox? Is that like some kind of a then vibe? Looks like it's about to get. Electrocuted and dead, man. What about bringing a, a freaking radio to the pool? Why? Okay, so let me just go ahead and unpack this and see what we've got. And of course, yes, we've also got the same um, inflatable ducks as well. Uh, actually, it's not inflatable, these ducks, these are like duck floaties. And as funny as it sounds, we've got a different boom box, so that's quite a bit of a summer vibey type set, of course. I'll fit the boombox CD in. As funny as it sounds, I I don't think I can fit that baby in. Or maybe I can. Let's see if I can do it. Come on! All right. So we fit the CD in. Hooray! And of course, yes. If I turn it to the other side, there's none. There's not much detailing on the back. Of course, yes. It's quite a nice little boombox of some kind. It looks pretty nice, actually, if you ask me. Hey, it's got some speakers on the front, and hey, that looks pretty cool indeed to me. Let's take a look at the penguins next, and I'm actually quite curious. I wonder what colours we've got. We've got an orange penguin, which looks like that, with a very strange bent-over beak, looking a little bit like Sam the Eagle again. Don't ask me why, but yes, there you go. Some very weird watercolour detailings, of course. Same with this pink penguin there. They're all meant to be done for as water toys, you know. They actually look fairly, fairly nice. Yes, they actually look fairly, fairly cool indeed. And maybe it's best for me to keep myself down because I don't want to bring so much attention to my parents, though. They'll probably think you, oi, get out of my computer room. Well, anyways, pretty feminine, isn't it? I would love to see a pink penguin wearing some kind of. I don't know, maybe wearing blonde hair, that would be uh, even more pretty awesome. Uh, here's a brown penguin. I mean, to me, brown, I don't know if that would fit well for such a colour of a penguin, but, yes, uh, I had no ideas though. Looks like there's not much detailing on here. I might, maybe I need to probably feel a bit more detailing after making this video, which is kind of painful, but hey, um, it sort of makes the photo a bit more right, doesn't it? Uh, hey, we've got a yellow penguin, I call it a pookie because of yellow colorization here as well. Okay, checking for detail, there's not much detail here, I might come in and, how would you say it, uh, refurbish that one just a bit though, hey, after making this video, but hey, it's still quite a nice little penguin, pengy penguin of course. Love a little pookie, and we've got the blue one here as well, it's amazing, we've got all kinds of different things that we have in the set. Now, apart from the duck inflatable uh, floaties, you've also got, which actually aren't that inflatable, uh, we've also got, of course we've seen the boombox, there's also, um, I think we also have goggles as well, I think we've got uh, another goggle as well. I don't think, that's weird, did I actually lift the other goggles? Oh dear, I think I've just, it's quite weird, I thought there was going to be another goggle, but sadly, um, it's not in, I'm afraid I, I've been having a look for it, and I just couldn't find it. Um, I just can't find where the goggles are. Um, no, I don't think I see it, I don't think I see it, maybe I need to try and make another one in another video, uh, sometime though, but hey, still quite a nice set. Some goggles, that you can, it's like the glasses, but, yeah, if I show it to you, though, it's kind of very simple. Oh dear, we've only got, only got just one pair of goggles, uh, I would love to see a pair, I'd love to see two actually, because that's what the packaging is telling me to do so, or not, but um, I must have totally misled it though, but hey, let's get these goggles on, there you go, that's what it looks like, those swimming goggles, um, with the eyes being exposed, Okay, so yes, it's quite a nice looking set, and I just don't find it that wrong at all, because it's pretty much a summertime theme set. Oh dear, I feel like I've missed that one goggle early, which was quite an error, but um, I'll try and see if I can get it in another video's time.
Or maybe I can try and finish off editing every single Penguin Club or toy. Um, that's gonna be edited until I feel like I'm done. Okay, at the come. Of course, yes. Oh, yes. One more thing. I should actually show you the duck. Actually, let me just show you the duck floaties. Let me just show you how I actually fit those duck floaties. There you go. They look pretty nice, don't they? Uh, in the way they're pretty much uh, fitting in. That's actually quite a good looking rendition of a duck floaty. That's actually pretty nice. Okay, came out. Okay, so these guys look fairly nice. Especially the penguins and those duck floaties. I'll put the penguin in first. And I'll put the duck floaties inside that packaging last. And I just hope that Googly Eyes, I should have actually added some info about Googly Eyes and the whole mix and match compatibility thing. It's like the original Club Penguin toys, of course. Okay, let's move on to another product which looks like this. It's called the Flip Flap Origami Penguin Club World. Um, I love saying it, don't you, eh? Uh, basic Outpost Pontoon Boat Ride. Um, I think it's a five pack. Yes, the letter T is not really done that right, though, in my opinion, no, but, hey, uh, maybe I'll be on say, maybe I'm being a bit too harsh here, and thinking, yeah, but, uh, but please stop criticizing with details and words and how you make them up and blah, blah, blah. Here you go, it costs about five pounds. I've got another product, which also costs about five pounds, uh, but it's also a boat as well. There's the back of it, which looks pretty nice. It's got some penguins, it's got a pontoon boat, and it's also got some kind of, um... What's it called? It's some kind of canopy at the back, which looks pretty short. I think it's canopy. I'll be telling you one. It's got those headlights at the front, which makes it kind of creepy looking. It looks like Squidward. <laughs> I am Squidward. Alright, so I'm just making very weird impressions, eh? Hey, look, I'm a boat. And I don't want to complain about SpongeBob playing so much stupid music. <laughs> Maybe I'm just pretty much playing out some very weird jokes that this boat does remind me of Squidward. Okay, so it's got are these like ropes on the side of the boat. Here's the other bit here. It looks like some kind of light boat, but if you look very closely, there's actually uh, some more detailing here. I've actually realised. Um, let me go and grab this one out, there you go, there is this component here, which looks like that, okay, it's meant to be, it's kind of like a Lego component, if you put it on the back of this boat, then it would, sh it should start to look like what it is, on the back of the packaging, so I think that's what it's meant to be, the back part of the boat, so you plonk it at the back, and I think that's what it is, so you have, um, the flag on the middle, and you've also got the radio antennae on this section here on the left, hooray! And let's fit on the penguins so that they can ride on the boat merrily, eh? If that's a word, merrily actually. Oh my goodness mate, this is actually quite a very interesting set. And what's also quite interesting about this boat is that apart from the propellers, which look like some kind of weird Nazi German type swastika like propeller shaped uh, blade, well, it's just artwork, isn't it, eh? There's also a steering wheel at the front of this boat, which looks like some kind of peace sign. Hey, look at that. It looks like some sort of weird peace sign at the front. And on the back is some kind of swastika that the Nazis use. But, hey, it's just a propeller of a boat. But, hey, here you go. That's the good. That's the bad. That's the good. That's the bad. And that's the good. And that's the bad. Hey, so there's a big contrast of what's going on here. Of course, there's plenty for a amount of room for the penguins to ride on this boat. There are no other accessories for the penguins to wear or use them as some kind of appendage or, or maybe something else. But hey, um, I don't get anything wrong at all. No. But um, yeah, it's still quite a nice looking toy in the way it is. For what I would actually think I'm paying for, it's actually quite amazing. It, um, let me just go ahead. Yeah, the, the problem with those penguin figures, they actually look like they kind of look like they sort of, how would you sort of stretch out? Um, I don't know why. It's quite weird. I would love to see the penguins a lot more flatter than just, maybe to give it a lot more 3D character. Uh, I don't know. I don't know, but I'm just going to fit this back piece on and maybe fit the penguins at the back to see how they like. Uh, I don't know how much room I can fit in all penguins, other than the fact that, oh my crockies, look how, this is just crowded, man, and look at that, that back piece is about to fall apart of my hands. 
There you go. That's just me. I can be sloppy at any time, but at the same time, I can be this precise. <laughs> it's like these penguins are just jostling for space on that bloody lifeboat. Well, maybe it's not a lifeboat. It's actually a pontoon boat. Sorry about that one, guys, eh? Anyways, let me just disassemble the penguins in the boat. Of course, the penguins are just a one-piece critter, as you can tell. And we'll take a look at our last product, because I can't keep myself being uh, here all the time uh, doing toy views. Uh, it's quite weird. Uh, maybe I should probably give my toy views a halt until uh, my Acer Aspire computer, which is the normal computer that I often use, is working again. But let me take a look at this photo here. This is the last one. And uh, once again, this one costs about five pounds. This one is called the Old Life Guardian Boat Rowing uh, Rescue Accomplishment Fire Pack. And what's very absurd is, and preposterous as it sounds, why is the Penguin Cropboard logo this small? If only if the logo was a lot much more bigger, why make it so small? Is it because we're heading to a new generation? Or is this something to do about the franchise that because of its popularity, we wanted to take away? I don't know, but let's just take a look at the back of the packaging. Ugh. I really don't like when logos are like, you know, this small, because it just sort of hurts the franchise a bit more, but maybe I'm being very, very harsh here, but let me just go ahead and take a look at the components inside, which I think is a much better thing, actually, without sounding too angry. Uh, we've got some oars here. Oh my god, every time when I look at both of these oars, they often do my head in, because, well, I could just tell you what, guys, I, I've been... Complaining a lot of tours which have oars and a lot there in various videos. Uh, maybe you have your own say on this, but I'm not really a fan of tours which have like which are based on boats and they have like oars on the sides of it. And you know, of course, is we've got the life guardian penguin here, and we've also got a regular pink penguin which looks like that. I'll take a look at the lifeboat, but um, yes, um, which is not really like a lifeboat, but an ancient one actually, more like an old fashioned one I guess, eh? Or like, you know, the poor man's lifeboat as I call it though, eh? There you go, that is a pink penguin. There you go, that's the lifeguard vest here, just shows you how much arduous a task can do, you know, on how much I can just create, you know, tours like that. Okay, so, anyways, let me just go ahead and uh, put the oars in, which is just so repetitive, I don't really tend to be familiar with those in such a good way, because, well, I'm not really the kind of person who does, you know, fluffing up videos, um, via YouTube, and it's just weird, isn't it, quite weird, eh? let me just go ahead and fit these in, <sighs> okay, so, we've got this oar in, let me try the other side here as well, not really a person who's into these types of set toys which contain those and yes it's just completely and utterly weird to see that one hey but hey that's just me and I'm not really a person who's into making oars uh, for boats and stuff though because well it, it's kind of a risk for the penguins to get their flippers broken and stuff which I'm not really too keen of but hey that's just me hey being quite a bit critical of what I'm playing what with. It's just me. But hey, obviously what I will do is just have a good go at using those flippers, or should I say, oars, just to look like that, hey, he's playing with them. And um, it's a very good thing to do, I suppose, hey. Maybe I'm, I'm not really familiar with those toys, but um, that's just how I sort of criticise them. And look at that. Look at this, look at this Life Guardian Penguin, I mean you can actually uh, sit two penguins, I think if I move this penguin here and put the other one there and if I get its flippers like so without being too sloppy here because people get ragey if, if I do stuff very very sloppily though I had uh, quite a few complaints actually because you know, but I haven't stopped doing stuff, you know, stop the activities where you don't, you know, where you refuse to put the penguin on uh, for the boat to row with and all that stuff. I'm sorry if I've got like pretty bad English though, but yeah. Overall, um, yes, I'm gonna do it with only just one oar because I'm just too lazy to do it. I mean, it's quite weird. I mean, just make toys which are like that. I'm not really a fan of those because 
yeah, the way to fit in the oars is just way too repetitive. I mean, it's just worse than those um, construction tool uh, themed product penguin themed toys. But um, maybe you have your own say on this. But um, let me just take a look at the boat. It's got a beautiful line on the, on, on the front, which looks pretty ancient looking. Actually, it looks pretty old fashioned by the looks of it. It also has a very interesting shape by the looks of it. It looks quite old fashioned. Not too bad in the way it's been designed. Um, yes, looks quite nice indeed. In fact, I think that's about it in this effect toy view. I would have never thought I'd be this quick. So, if you really enjoyed in another one of those toy views we've been doing so far and doing Pink and Copper toy views, if you really enjoyed it, please give this video a like, subscribe for more Flip videos in the future. And as always, thanks so much for watching. And bye for now, and I think that's pretty much all the products I've got to cover for today. Okay, bye.